As you can see, I decided to play through quite a few games and we now find ourselves in an FA Cup semi-final here against Arsenal. So hopefully we get to another cup final. <laughs> Hello there, welcome back to the channel for Club 2, episode 22 of Hall of Famer here on Football Manager 2024 with Bristol City. And like I said in the intro, or before the intro, we have an FA Cup semi-final after we beat Sunderland in the quarter-final. And before that, we narrowly beat Colchester by goal to nil in the fifth round, setting up this FA Cup semi-final against Arsenal. The other semi-final has been played already between Sheffield United and Tottenham, so... If we win, we face Tottenham in the final. If not, then it's a North London derby in the final of the FA Cup. Fair enough. I'm expecting to lose this, but what the hell, we're going to give it a good go. But, you know, Premier League form has not been too bad. We did beat Liverpool, so I'm really happy about that. We lost at Brentford and we lost at Villa. And we did draw at home to Palace when they scored a very, very, very late equaliser. A little bit annoyed by that, but um, hey-ho. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Because we are seriously overachieving this season. We sit 7th in the Premier League at the moment. 55 points after 33 games. Everyone is more or less on the same amount of games. We are, I would probably say, guaranteed now to beat uh, last season's 10th place finish. It's just where we finish now. I don't think we're going to slip as low as 10th. 10 points in 5 games. I think we'll find it hard to um, drop that. Especially when we've got Wolves, Everton and Fulham still to play as well. Uh, the uh, game against Spurs and City could be tricky, but um, I have to admit, I mean, all all five games are winnable, I would say, because we're home against Spurs and City, and we can go to uh, Fulham and Everton and pick pick something up, certainly. Um, let's quick pick this, because, uh, yeah, uh, we do have a few players who are wanted, as you'll probably already know. Liveramento's new. He's wanted by a Saudi club, but don't really want to let him go because he has been really, really good. Now, Ngalo is a very interesting one because he originally wanted to leave, so he transfer listed himself. Then he started to play more, and then he was like, oh, you know what? Um, I I'm happy to stay now and remove, my remove myself from the transfer list. And I was like, well, yeah, you're playing well. You're a good part of the team. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll agree to it. Then he comes to me a few weeks later and says he wants to leave again. So, whatever, mate. Make your mind up. Um, he will start today against Arsenal, though. And, um, yeah, so um, Salcedo's been playing a little bit more as a striker as it's, um, a, well, especially the last few games. Might have already uh, done it a little bit earlier on. But uh, Hoyland finally uh, getting on the score sheet, getting a hat-trick against Sunderland in the FA Cup there. He will be starting there because Salcedo is carrying a knock. He will make the bench, though, but... Um, but uh, there we go. I have got another sign-in uh, lined up. Um, Ahmad, uh, Adam Ahmad uh, coming in from somewhere in oh, Dynamo in Croatia. Nigerian, uh, not being capped yet. It's capped at under-20 level. Three-star current ability, five-star potential. Looks pretty good. Option at centre-back and also left-back, which... I think we probably could need because Thierry Small very well could be leaving. Hey, I very well might be leaving, so who the hell knows? I'm very happy with Feaster's contributions this year. Still don't know how you say that, but I will pop it into Google and have a look. I mean, going by these, he's not doing so well, is he? But um, I still think he's a good player, so I think that's all that pretty much matters. Chris Moore, very happy to have him aboard. He's going to have some competition next year with Ivisic coming in, um, whatever his name is. Again, <laughs> watching the names already again. What a, what a surprise, eh? So here we go. Mesli in goal, Small, Torre, Lelas and Livramento at the back. And Garlo, Knight and Viga in midfield. Carvalho and Moore on the wings and Hoyland up front. Let's do this. Let's see what we can do against Arsenal. Going to be a tricky game, I'm aware of that, but you know what? It's all good. It is all good. Um, if we don't get through today, I'm thinking I'll probably just finish the season off camera and then come back for the transfer special in the next video. Or if there's like potential of like continental qualification, which there very well could be, I may well... Um, uh, well, I'm not sure yet. It, it depends. Because if we do somehow get through to the FA Cup final, then... Um, We'll obviously have that. Oh, well, we've already gone 1-0 down. That's great. Already gone 1-0 down. That's flaming fantastic. Havertz to Gabriel. To Havertz. Gabriel. Tomiyasu. Oh, it's a good save by Meslier. Good man. Let's encourage. That is obviously not a good start. Uh, who who scored again? Was it Havertz? Uh, Odegaard. 
Oh god, it's always Odegaard, isn't it? And that will go out for a corner. That looked like it was going out for a throw to me, but obviously it didn't. Uh, so, really not a good start by us in this game against Arsenal. Arsenal is certainly one of our bogey teams. We put, always put in a good performance against Newcastle. <laughs> Saying that, we lost the Carabao Cup final against them. Uh, we sometimes turn up against United. We beat Liverpool. We've, um, I think we drew against Chelsea. I mean, to be fair, didn't we draw at home to Arsenal in the Premier League? Not that long ago. So, um, was that. Uh, but here we go. Arsenal on the attack again through this corner. And very close there. Pardon me. Meslier on it. Is that to Torre? Small. What's the Viga? Are the um, next-gen listers out? And there's some really tasty players on there. Oh, very good turn there by Carvalho. Carvalho now. What can he do? Is he going to have a showing shot? He does, and he scores. Come on, baby. Fabio Carvalho scores a lovely goal. And it's 1-1. Come on. Fantastic goal. And we're back in this somehow. And I think I will take that going into half-time because it was really not a good start, was it? bit better now. We're doing well. We're doing well now. Up until about the... 35th minute we weren't doing very well, but um, there we go, very pleased with that, very pleased. Let's go positive now, because why not? I mean, at the end of the day, in this kind of fixture, we have got nothing to lose, so um, let's just see what we can do, Kirkes is going to come on, uh, I'm tempted to bring on Foysha, uh, Vista, Oh, what are we calling him? I literally have no idea. I'm going to also bring Bell on. In terms of contracts, I have decided to uh, offer Anorjan and Rothwell new deals. Um, I believe Rothwell's is actually a pay cut. Anorjan's is on a little bit more money. But they're good squad players. They're good players to have around for when um, when we desperately need them. Vigo goes back to Ingalo. Lovely play here. Liveramento gets it across. Oh, and Fista scored! Oh my god, come on! Well, there you go. Managerial tactical brilliance there by your boy, Mr. Parker. And we find ourselves 2-1 up against Arsenal now in the FA Cup semi-final. Wowzers. Oh, my good God. I was not expecting this. We, I'm looking at the stats. We seriously do not deserve this, but... I am never, ever going to say no. A nausea is going to come on. And you know what? Oh, I was going to say we'll bring... Salcedo on. Actually, yes, we will, because Anorjan can go in central midfield, and Salcedo can go on the wing. Less than about 10 minutes to hold on to this. Arsenal have a corner. We had heartbreak in the previous video. You're going to do it to me again. Oh, my God. Almost happened there and then. The thing is, I think if we lose this game, it'll be a bit different to what happened against Newcastle. Because I genuinely feel like we deserve to, to win the game against Newcastle. This game, not so much. And Nor oh, Bell. Bell manages to get the ball clear. And the Arsenal keeper needs to get back. Salcedo has a shot. Oh, and it's wide. Oh, it was an open goal. He just took a little bit more time. He might have been able to get it on target. But, oh, my good God. Are we going to get a famous win against Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final? Oh, my God, we have. Oh, my God. Wicked. Wow. Wow. So, this season, <laughs> this season just gets better. I mean, heartbreak in the previous one, but we've made it to another final. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Wowzers. That is absolutely crazy. And now, obviously, that writes it for the next video now, because it's going to be the final Premier League game of the season and the FA Cup final. Wow. Wow. And I would really like to win the FA Cup. Would really, really like to. Hopefully, if we win this one, it won't be the only one we win because of what I said in the, either the previous video or the one before that, what my plan is for the save long term is to obviously win the Champions League with multiple clubs, win the top division with multiple clubs. 
and then we go home and finish the story winning the Premier League, winning the FA Cup with Coventry City, my team. Team I've supported since I were, since I knew what football was. Because, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm not sure how long this video has gone, but I am actually going to end things here. And, uh, and, and what a what a final uh, what a final um, what a final of the um, what a what a game to end the season on. Jesus Christ, put the right teeth in, Parker. Man City at home, Tottenham in the FA Cup final. Let's do it. I've got five games to play, uh, four games to play off camera even, and then we'll be coming back for the Man City game, final Premier League game of the season, and Tottenham FA Cup final, which I am seriously looking forward to. This has been a cracking season. Hopefully, we'll be here or be around here. I have a feeling seventh place might be continental football. So, you never know. If Newcastle, because obviously they won the Carabao Cup, they won, because they won the Carabao Cup, they've already qualified for the Conference League. So, if they do finish above us, I think we, I think they would probably get Europa League, and then we would get Conference League. And if I get into the Conference League with Bristol City, you know, even if we do win the FA Cup, even if we do get approached by clubs for, you know, to take over, I don't know what I'm going to do, because at this moment in time, like I said a few videos ago, I am not going to reply for anything now, unless it really does tempt me. Because of all of the rejection that I just keep getting. You know, if we go into job security now, the Bournemouth job became available again and it's still available now. I've got no interest in taking it because why would I at this point? There's literally no reason for me to take it. So, we'll, um, we'll leave that at that. I'm going to wait for clubs to come for me now unless there is something like ridiculous that, you know, I would need to go for. I'd probably still be rejected anyway, but there we go. But guys, this pretty much just writes itself, doesn't it? We'd be playing Man City in the final Premier League game of the season and the FA Cup final against Tottenham. And oh my God, am I looking forward to that? Hopefully, we win the Cup final this time because even though it was a couple of, it was a couple of hours ago for me, I mean, look at this. I've blazed through these games because I'm seriously enjoying this in the minute. Really, really am. So yeah, we lost against Newcastle in there. But we've got an even bigger cup final coming up in the next video. Guys, if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you're subscribed. Please make sure you leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one for the FA Cup final and hopefully a very good Premier League finish. Thanks again for watching.